FOMO, you know, like be all right, man. Got 30 pips chat. He's a thing chat. You can't be a perfectionist in the markets, right? Like you can't. There's there's gonna be days where yes, you could hold that position to TP, but there's also days where off of your judgment, you close and it runs. Sometimes, you know, there's been times where I close at 10 pips. A lot of times actually. And it runs for a hundred pips. But I'm not gonna sit there and say, okay, well, maybe I should have let it rock that day. Because you know what I did by closing at 10? I didn't just close at 10 pips because I wanted to. It was probably because I saw something there. I saw a level there, I saw a resistance there, right? Whatever the case is, and it drove. Now here's the thing. If I were to see that position drive after I close at 10 pips and say, you know what? Next time this happens, I'm gonna hold. You know what's gonna to happen to you? Next time you see 10 pips, you hold that position. If it goes back to drawdown, it stops. You're gonna you're not gonna have a negative day and a winning day the first day. Whereas if you follow the same strategy throughout both days, you're gonna come on top on the first day when you close the 10 pips and the second day as well. And who knows, maybe the second day might come with the runner if it ran. Right? But both days were successful now instead of having to change your plan off of one emotional formal move that you missed, right? So it's it's not worth it. Like 30 pips chat, I'll take it. There's and we're gonna have plenty of days where we're gonna catch 10, 15, 30. Like it's gonna continue to happen, right? But you can't be perfectionist, right? You can't say shit woulda coulda. If you truly wanted to, you would have done it. But even I said earlier, our TP is up here. We're not gonna hold it up there. That's just for stream purposes so that no one gets mad at me on stream for having a negative R. But realistically, we're gonna close probably between like, you know, in this range likely. I'll say 33. I said I said 33 and 29 earlier. And that's P. The only way you, you should feel FOMO though, is if you've never been in this position before. Like if you never took this position ever, this is like the first time that you've seen this exact structure print and you took it. Okay, you might have FOMO because you don't have experience with this position. But if you've been there, done that, and you know what the setup is, and you know it will form again one day eventually, there's nothing to FOMO over. All you gotta do is sit around and wait for the setup to form. And when it comes, when it happens, it happens, right? You're in there. And that's all that is. That's all that is, man. But don't don't sit here and be like, oh, fuck, bro. Like, I, I wish I should have held, man. Like, fuck. I knew it was gonna go up. I fucking knew it. And then you wait, what? You spend the whole day chasing back what the pips that you lot you missed out on. It's not worth it, man.